meta-analysis to draw a forest plot and funnel plot in Stata. Meta-analysis is a statistical method that combines the results of two or more studies to estimate a pool effect size. The uh, meta-analysis or the statistics method will measure also variability, degree of variability uh, or heterogeneity among the results uh, um, by producing an overall confidence interval, 95% confidence interval and a value for I squared uh, test which is a homogeneity test and the I squared value is expressed in percentage and uh, a high value of uh, heterogeneity indicates that the result of individual studies may be too different to combine and uh, a low value of the percentage indicates no heterogeneity, i.e. homogeneity. Forest plot is a graph representing the result from the meta-analysis. It does summarize the overall effect size estimates and it gives a 95% confidence interval for multiple studies and also it displays the magnitude and the direction of the effect size and also it identifies sources of heterogeneity or inconsistency in the results. The forest plot consist or diagram or plot consist of three main sections or part the first part is a statistical analysis for each study with 95 percent uh, confidence interval p-value probability value and um, an estimate uh, effect the second part is a diagram with um, uh, estimate and confidence interval 95% and the third part is the overall statistical analysis of the effect size and the test of heterogeneity among studies. Funnel plot will assess the publication bias in meta-analysis. Here in Stata Data View, I had inserted 10 studies or data from 10 studies, uh, study number 1 to study number 10 as shown here for the column or the variable study with a year uh, publication for each study given in a bracket. And then next to that is the uh, treatment. So here we have uh, two groups. The study is uh, arranged into two group treatment or experimental group and a control group. So T stands for treatment and N stands for the number of participant or cases in each study or the treatment and the mean is given for the variable continuous um, as the variable is here a, a scale and then a standard deviation for the treatment is given also and for the control group the number of uh, cases for the control is given and the mean for the control and the standard deviation for the control so they for each study there is a mean sample size and standard deviation for the control and for the uh, treatments and uh, uh, the objective of meta-analysis is to combine the result from all these 10 studies 
to uh, finally uh, reach a conclusion uh, whether there is uh, uh, effect size difference between the treated group compared to the control to do meta-analysis in stata with a data that is continuous in the window here click on statistics scroll down to um, down until you reach the meta-analysis uh, section click on it then a new window will appear for meta-analysis control panel there are several sections here setup summary forest plot heterogeneity publication bias for funnel plot so for the current studies here uh, we need to declare the meta analysis data since we have the data as a continuous outcome not as a binary outcome then we will compute and declare the effect size for the two groups the control and the treatment for comparison for a continuous outcomes so if the data was binary then we will stick with the binary we'll select the first option and if we scroll down here as we see in the main section specify group one which is treatment variable and specify group two which is control variable so the sample size for the treatment is the tn for the mean is the mean t and for the standard deviation is sdt and for the control the sample size is n control mean is mean c and standard deviation is standard c for specifying the effect size there are several options if we click on the option here options are given whether to go for hedges g cohen d glass delta and glass delta two and one and mean differences we'll still select the hedges g click on submit to declare the meta analysis data and as shown here in the window uh, the command for the meta analysis is meta e estimate size and these are the parameters the number of cases the mean the standard deviation for control and treatment number of study is 10 uh, study size is meta study size and these are the summary data and the effect size is hedges g and um, precision is given by um, giving a confidence interval which is 95 percent level and the model selected here is a random effects if we want to modify the meta uh, uh, um, setting then click on that and then uh, certain modification can be done but we will leave it as it is for clicking on the summary here uh, uh, keep the uh, meta analyzed model declared model click on submit and then to and again as shown here uh, a table is generated for each study from study number one to study number 10 and hedges for each study is calculated the estimate size and the 95 percent uh, confidence interval for that value is given and a percentage of weight is also given here with uh, a probability value to generate a forest plot click on submit and then a, a forest plot will be uh, generated as shown here the forest plot will have three sections the statistical analysis for each data with the descriptive here and here is the uh, statistical uh, analysis and then the graph representation and in the third section is the uh, um, overall 
uh, size effect and the heterogeneity test to do uh, editing for the plot section here um, in the option for the plot options click on the plot options and tick on draw over all effect size line and then line options and let's give the line a color red and make it dash here rather than solid uh, and if you click and accept and then for a line of no effect tick on that then select an option then tick on line option and then select the blue color and select the dashed pattern click on ok click on ok and then resubmit again another graph modified plot forest plot is generated from this plot on the left hand side is the descriptive stat for the 10 studies with the number of cases the mean the standard deviation for the treatment or the experimental group and for the control group and in the middle is the graph representation on the right hand side is the hedges which is given here value hedges g 1.14 for the first study and point or and 1.42 for the study number 10 and then confidence interval 95 percent confidence interval for the estimate effect is given also for each study and a, a weight percentage of the weight also given and the weight percentage represent or reflect the uh, size of the study if uh, more participant or larger uh, study size will have a higher weight influence as shown here for the 16 percent so each study is weighted based mainly on it is size or its size uh, or the number of uh, participants recruited for the study looking at the plot here uh, since uh, the effect size is uh, uh, a scale and it's continuous, the variable is continuous, then there is a value of 0 and it can be 0, 1, 2 and it can be also in the minus. The blue dotted line is the line of no effect, i.e. when the differences between the control and the treatment effect size is equal to 0, which means there is no um, difference so they are equal and the red dotted line is the overall effect size i.e the hedges g which is given here 0.73 from pooled or combined 10 study and it is represented in a green diamond so the location of that represent the overall effect size and for each study the effect size which is hedges value is represented by a square as shown here a blue square and the size of the uh, square reflects the sample size or the weight so higher uh, studies with higher number of participants will have a higher weight and it will have a larger uh, blue square and the center of that square will represent the effect size or the hedges g value and the horizontal line for each study will represent the 95 percent confidence interval and as shown here most of the studies are very approximate or close to the overall um, uh, calculated effect size looking at the third section in this plot which is the heterogeneity specifically the i square and uh, the value for it is 22.2 percent which this indicates that there is low 
uh, variability between the studies and the p-value for that is 0.28 not significant which indicates that there is a homogeneity between the studies and finally the overall uh, effect size as the data is standardized so if z value is given here and a p value less than 0.05 so there is a significant difference so from this study it shows that combining all the 10 studies uh, there is a common shared uh, observed uh, conclusion that uh, there is a difference between the treatment group compared to the control group and the overall size effect is significant so thus there is a genuine significant between the treatment and the control and seems to be that the control have an effect moving away from the forest plot and continue with the form here if we click on heterogeneity again this is an option to uh, select from we'll leave it as it is and then click on submit and a graph is generated here uh, for the Galbraith plot but what is interesting is the publication pias will generate a funnel plot so we will use and select the funnel plot for a graphical diagnosis of a small study effect and then click on submit final plot is generated as shown here uh, with the y-axis is standardized error and on the x-axis is the hedges value and as shown here the hedges value is about 0 0.7 uh, 0 0.7 and uh, the red line represent that overall uh, effect size and these each one of these uh, circles represent the uh, one of the 10 studies and uh, for uh, lack of bias all the um, studies hedges or effect size should be distributed evenly across this red line under the funnel and we see here one two three four five one two three four so there are four in the last uh, on the right side five on the left side and one outside the funnel plot so this is the way to do meta analysis in stata and generate a forest plot and a funnel plot